couple of days ago, you mentioned just the focus on your defense and you know, the running and, and just it's kind of showing you're willing to do whatever it takes to be in the league. Uh, but your offensive game has been pretty efficient. Uh, Three-point shooting, uh, creating your own look, creating looks for teammates. How, how rewarding do you feel like it is you've got a chance to show that, um, even in a, a context like tonight against a good team? It's <clears throat> First, I just want to start by giving all honor and glory to God because it's, it's ultimately rewarding. And honestly, that's the biggest reason why I chose number 41 because the number 41 in the Bible means patience. And the biggest thing I always tell myself and when I pray is on 40 days and 40 nights, the storm was there, but on day 41, everything everything seemed to make sense and it all came became clear. So patience will always, 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 patience and trust will always take you far. And so having a game like today on the last preseason game, especially in front of my favorite player to ever pick up a basketball, it was just an amazing feeling. Coach McMillan always tells me that um, it's okay to want to be a playmaker and learn to be whatever a team needs, but at the end of the day, my, my true gift is scoring and shooting, so always look to look for an efficient shot first before you look to just pass it up and try to be just a pass-first point guard because I can score the ball ultimately. And this today was just honestly rewarding, especially doing it at an efficient level. And then just what do you feel like are next steps uh, for you? Just go home and talk with my agent, see what comes next. My, I, I just I just want a job in the NBA. Like, it's the only thing I've wanted since I was like five years old. Um, and my dad always said my biggest gift is my energy. And energy can never be created or destroyed, only, only transferred. So I bring energy to whatever team wants me. And I, I lift every group up. And I, I, I just want to see what, what I honestly don't know what comes next either. You know, I, every day I just approach it like it could be my last. And Rui hit it on the head today. This is like the, the last chance for people like me because tomorrow's not promised and neither is next week. But what is guaranteed is I have an opportunity today to go out and make a lasting impression. Quincy, I have a couple for you. Uh, first of all, when you reflect on your preseason effort for the Lakers, you helped them get their first win in Milwaukee with, with a big late effort. Tonight you get the start and you lead the team in scoring. Just how do you kind of judge yourself based on your ability to take the opportunity you were given and do something with it? My dad, my dad's preached the same thing since I picked up a basketball. Did I play hard and did I have fun? I definitely have fun. You know, I think like yesterday when we played the Suns, Kevin Durant and Devin Booker knew my name. And it was just like the biggest surprise. I'm 23 years old, but every time I put on an NBA jersey or come to an NBA practice, I'm that eight, eight year old kid that just begging my dad to take me to an NBA game. And so coming out today, I didn't know I was starting until the game when we went through our, our uh, scout before the game. And I, I was just like, wow, you know, first career NBA start in the last game. It, it, I've had this great feeling all day. Why not capitalize? So I, I would definitely say I, I, I took advantage because I had fun. And not only did I have fun, I played hard with the opportunity I had. And win or loss, made or missed shot, I, I know I gave it my all. And you mentioned Book and KD knowing who you are. Uh, it looked like maybe your favorite player of all time also knows who you are. We saw Steph Curry having some words with you on the court after the game. What can you tell us about that conversation? Man, I, it's crazy because uh, I've liked them since I was in, like, sixth grade. Like, it was – I don't even know what to say, man, because, like, that's my favorite player ever. And uh, the first thing he told me was, like, I'm a big fan of your game. And, like, truth be told, I'm a big fan of him. You know, like, I I, I had his jersey. He signed it twice. Uh I used to sleep under that jersey, and like, I just wanted to be like him so bad. And so, just to be able to meet him, he him be able to have some respect for me, and then us to talk in the back. He gave me a pair of his shoes and signed them. Like, that meant the world to me, man. Like, my dad knows, my mom knows. Like, it just means a lot. And like, I I, I don't know. It just means a lot. Uh, Bronny, you talked a lot about how you know last year was just interrupted, right? You didn't get really get that chance to play in a lot of a lot of the big game minutes and, and all that. Tonight, 35 minutes, uh, you have a pretty efficient scoring night. Uh, what did it feel like to just get all of that burn and, and get a chance to settle into a game? Um, 
uh, just gave me a chance to be myself. Um, I feel like that's, you know, where I'm the most comfortable, just going out there and playing my game. Uh, so, yeah, it was just a, a great feeling to go out there and, 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 you know, not think as much as I do and just play. <laughs> JJ said he's not, you know, concerned about what a point total is, good or bad, or he just thinking about how to continue to, to develop you into a great player ultimately. Um, but at the same time, you know, it feels good to be on the court scoring points, like hitting shots. And how, how are you balancing that as, as, you know, yeah, you do enjoy that, but you're still thinking about the bigger picture for this year. Yeah, I mean, like I've told you, just, you know, trying to focus on what my role is and excelling at that. Um, but, yeah, if I'm given the opportunity to go out there and play 35 minutes, then I'm, you know, going to go out there and play. So uh, I feel like I'll be given an amazing opportunity to go and, you know, showcase what I can do down the road. Uh, if that's not right now, if that's not what he wants me to do right now. Um, so, yeah, it's just a, a great moment for me. <clears throat> hey, Brian, a couple for you. Um, we just had – Quincy in here and is really emotional about the opportunities he's had with this organization, what it meant to him to play, have that game in front of Steph. Um, what's it been like kind of working with him since you've been here? Um, you guys connected on that lob today. It seems like you guys have some kinship. Yeah, I mean, in practice, I, we're always together in our, uh, our like, you know, other team playing against the starters and stuff. So we've uh, built that connection off the court, uh, well, on the court, but off the, the uh, you know, arena hard floor. So, you know, just building that connection with him. He's a great guy. I mean, I love playing with him. Um, great spirit. You know, he plays hard all the time. So it's, uh, it was great that, we, you know, we were both given that opportunity to go out there and, and showcase what we could do. That, and that was the second thing I was going to ask was, like, opportunity when, when you know, you know it's, it's, it's hard, I'd imagine, not knowing – when the tap would come during games or how much you're going to be out there and trying to find a rhythm, but like knowing what it was going to be like today, what, what was pregame like for you? Were you even a different level locked in, um, a different level of excited because you knew you were going to get a real, a real long runway? Um, no, not necessarily. Um, we always have these games in, in, in our practices, the stay ready games that, um, you know, the, the rotation guys or non-rotation guys play. Uh, so I just, you know, try to prepare my, myself every every game we have uh, the same way so I can, you know, stay ready for those those opportunities. Bronny, what does this give you just going into the next stage of, of the season to be finishing off preseason with, with this performance personally? Um, again, like I said to you, just a, l a little bit of confidence <clears throat> uh, going into the season, um, even though I – you know, might not be in that rotation, not be not might be playing. Um, but just going into practice, maybe G League games, um, with that, you know, confidence in myself to go out there and, and play my game, I feel like that's the biggest part tonight. And we saw Steph on the court with you conversing a bit <clears throat> after the game. Anything about that message? I mean, I've seen him, you know, last year coming up to you at a Lakers game when you were in the stands, you know, checking, you know, checking in with you. But what was the message today? Uh, just catching up, but mainly just you know him telling me to play play my game and be myself um also just giving some pointers on you know things to do uh in certain situations but nothing nothing too crazy <clears throat> oh when, Brian, where do you where do you think you've made the biggest strides since day one of preseason um what areas do you feel like you've gained maybe the most comfort um I'd say just like, you know, JJ has always emphasized uh, being a menace on the defensive end and being disruptive. Uh, so just taking pride and, you know, picking up uh, full court and, you know, guarding guys like Buddy Heald. He's running all over the place. Um, but, yeah, just taking pride on the defensive end is my biggest thing, I think. Oh, hi, Bronny. Uh, today is the last preseason game. Uh, overall, what do you think the most part of the game do you need to improve? Uh, again, just that defensive side of things. Um, but also tonight was, you know, I was given an opportunity to go showcase my offensive game. Um, and I did that a little bit. Uh, so I feel like my confidence, I feel like that's the, the biggest thing for me right now is, you know, uplifting myself. Thank you. Thank you.